An extremely versatile piece of equipment is the Titan Fitness Loading Pin. Titan Fitness is selling this for $25. About a year ago, I got this one for less than $20, but the prices have gone up a little bit. And then I ended up getting a second one with my loyalty points for basically free. The Titan Fitness Loading Pin only weighs three pounds and it's 14 and a half inches long and the length of it does limit what exercises you can do. Also something to keep in mind is that when you use one of these smaller carabiners, it's too hard to get the carabiner on and off. So I do recommend using one of these larger carabiners. I first got a loading pin simply because it's easier to load weight than using a traditional dip belt. And I use the spudding belt when I'm using a loading pin. So I have my loading pin down here, loaded with just 10 pounds. And you can do dips. And pull-ups. I have found if you use fives, tens, and two and a halves, it's a lot easier to do a lot of these exercises just because if you start using 25s, 35s, and 45s, you have to move your hands too far away from the center line of your body so the plates don't bang up against your body. And you do have to be aware of that with a lot of these exercises. You've got to take them slow, otherwise the plates are, are going to bang against your body. You can add a lot of different attachments. So here I have the back bar. With various grips. If you have two bicep curls will work. By attaching the rope I can supinate the curl. Lateral raises will work. If you stand on boxes, it can be used for a rope. If you go slow so the loading pin doesn't swing, and if you don't mind the loading pin banging up against your shoulders a little bit, you can do presses and flops. If you have two, farmer's carries are a good option. You can do kettlebell swings, although this isn't nearly as good as using a kettlebell. I do have a collar on the loading pin so the plates don't slide on me. A deadlift works pretty well, but you have to elevate yourself because of the length of the loading pins. also be used nicely with the sumo stance. I mainly use the loading pin to do belt squats and I'll put a link in the description to one of the first videos I recorded for Home Gym Hacks and Reviews showing you doing that. If you add daisy chains to the loading pin, you can do quite a few more exercises like the overhead press. A tricep extension works well using the daisy chain and the loading pin. I hope you found this review helpful. Try to give some of these exercises a try and let me know what you think.